Hey guys, Coach Sean here and welcome to our lockdown workout and with today's news it looks like these lockdown workouts will continue uh, until at least the 5th of March. So I'm going to try and get as many of these workouts in every Tuesday and Thursday here on my YouTube channel um, between now and, and March and we'll take it from there. God knows how long this is going to go on for but we'll keep going, we'll keep trying to get the workout in as we build up towards closer to the summer and hopefully brighter days ahead. With that said, with that out of the way, today what we want to do is a cardio and core workout. So roughly 35, 40 minutes, maybe. We're going to try and switch it up a little bit today. So we will have our usual 10 minute warm because obviously the warm is important. But after that, we're going to have three different kind of blocks. Um, if you have a resistance band and a kettlebell, um, there will be options to use them in, in this session. So have them with you. Um, so like I said, three different blocks. We will talk more about them when we get into them, but we'll try and keep it switched up, something a little bit different for today and the sessions going forward. So starting off, we're going to start on the ground, work our way up over these next couple of minutes. Starting nice and easy on the ground, as soon as we get the music going. Three, I don't know why I can't myself here, I haven't played yet, push your look. Okay, starting on the ground, just nice and easy into our glute bridges, heels in close to the hips, tuck the hips in, slowly up, right back down. Slowly up and down. Good. Let's keep this going. Last couple of seconds. Four, three, two, one, and right leg over. What we're going to do we're going to pull the back leg in, nice and close. Pull underneath the leg. Hold here for another couple of seconds. And down. From there, right foot down, foot down towards the ground. Right back up. That's it, just over and back, just get a little bit of movement in the hips. Good. And right, let's change legs, same thing, pull that back leg in, get a bit of a stretch on it. And now from there, foot down towards the ground, careful not this jump, knock this thing over. One of these weeks I know I'm going to, right down and back up. Let's keep this going, last couple of seconds. And relax from there. Lower back pinned into the ground. Knees up, deep breath in. As you breathe out, kick one leg away. Back, same the upside, out and back. Good. Let's keep this going over, Mac. We're going to go for 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one, and relax. Okay, over into a side plank. We're gonna hold the side plank or do rotations for the next 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and hold. Or if you need it, rotate through, up, or hips down, right back up. Up to you, it's very easy you wanna do. Gonna hold for the last couple of seconds. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and relax. Over the opposite side, the exact same thing. Three, Two, one, and hold. Good. Keep this going. Hold for five, four, three, two, and relax. Good. Okay, right back on all fours. Gonna switch it up. Arch your back, deep breath in. Breathe now, back up towards the ceiling. Arch your back, deep breath in. Breathe now, back towards the ceiling. Good. Let's keep us going. Last couple of seconds. From there, keep your back push up towards the ceiling. Knees slightly off the ground. Hold from here. Hold here for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. From there. Arms out in front just a little bit. Sit back into our heels. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, sink further out of that stretch. Sit down low. Back up. Hands out a little bit further. Sit back into it once more. Keep it going. Back up, once more, arms out a little bit further, sitting right there as well. 
Good stretch for the back here. And relax. From there, bring your right leg out to the side. Now sit back at your heels, reach the hand right away around. Down and four. Sit back at the heels, keep the back straight up. And now. Good, let's keep this going. We're we'll going for another three. Two. One. And relax. Over the opposite side. Doing the exact same thing. So uh, that left leg out. Sitting down to reach over. And back. And, and back. We'll go for three more. Back, two, back, last one, and back. From there, press up position, reach back towards the toes, over and back. Three, two, one. No, no, well, let's face the other way. Over and back. And relax, good. Back up onto our feet, go on to regular squats. Three, two, one, plus down, right back up. Take your time, sit a little bit lower each time into it, keep the back straight, shoulder blades out. Good. Last couple of seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax from there. Slide bend the knee, bring your knee up, kick that heel and foot right back. And up, right back, up. We're going for four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Good, change the leg, exact same thing. Slide bend the knee, kick back, and up. Back, up. Six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, feet wide and shoulder away. We're gonna sit our hips right back to each side. Three, two, one. Sit back. Up. Back. Up. Good. Let's go for another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Good, okay, last thing. Squat jumps, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, get a drink of water. Drink of water, rest it up for a minute, and then we'll move on. Hopefully everyone's feeling okay. Okay. Everything off of me there, unfortunately. Okay, let's go last drink. So like I said, start there. We're going to try and do a little bit of everything, not a little bit of everything, just, just three completely different blocks for you guys today. So, the first one we're going to do for the next maybe nine, ten minutes, not too sure, is we're going to go for a ladder drill. So, it's going to be ten reps of three different exercises, nine reps, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, I'm going to explain the exercises and I'm going to try and slow it down so you guys can stick with me for those three exercises, or you turn around and say, hey Sean, you're going way too slow, and I want you to go ahead of me, go as fast as you can through those three blocks, and then just get a longer break while I'm still going through four reps, three reps, two reps, everything. So try and get through as fast as you can. So you know to stick with me, and do as many reps as I do, for example, even if you slow down, for example, I know I was saying it was explained, the first one's gonna be reverse on just 10 on each leg. I'm gonna slow it down, but even if you only get eight reps in each side, let's say, and I get 10. 
I want you to move on with me to the next exercise. So get as many reps in as you can as it takes me to get to 10. I will keep it slow if you want to just jump ahead in that. So the exercises are reverse lunges, step back, knee down low, pushing right up, going for 10 on each leg. If you're still struggling with lunges, just do as many squats as it does uh, as it takes me to do 10 on each leg. After that, I think it's a band pull apart. Yeah. So our band pull apart, locking out the wrists and elbows from there. Squeeze shoulder blades right back and in, nice and slow. Lock it out here, lock it out here. So we're not bending this way to come out because that's a different exercise altogether. Work with different muscles. So what we'll do is 10 and M. Then for our last one, straight leg sit ups. So straight leg sit ups, we are down on the ground. Leg straight and sit up. And then from there, nice and slow, back down and bring ourselves right back up. If you can't do that one, hands on the thighs, up over the knees, right back down. If you don't have a band, for that last one, I want you to stay in your stomach instead. And then from there, arms out straight, thumbs up, squeeze the shoulder blades, hold that foot position for as long as it takes me to do 10 band pull parts or nine, or however many more reps it is. So, with that said, just one last check, make sure we're still on, I do get paranoid, and we're gonna get going. So first one, reverse lunges, 10 on each leg. Stand together. Harshing today for some reason. Three, two, one, let's go. Reverse on just 10 on each leg. Slide forward, lean all the way in that front leg. Once again, if I'm going too slow, and I will be for some of you, I want you to pick up the pace. I want you to pass me out. Four more each side. Three, two, one, good, grab that band, band pull apart, three, two, one, ten, or lie down your stomach, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, straight leg sit ups, lying down, leg straight, up and down, ten, I should have said this earlier, but the reverse lunges are too easy and you have a kettlebell. By all means, hold on to that kettlebell and do it with that. Four. Five. That's the last five, guys. Four. Three. Two. One, and now up again into our reverse lunges. Gotta go for a nine on each leg, so just a quick breather if everyone get ready. Nine each leg, three, two, one, let's go. Nine, eight. And that knee as close as we can to the ground. Even lightly touching is okay. Oh, well, you know, smack it off the ground, doing all right. Make sure that front heel stays up off the ground. I think we got four each side, is it? I don't know why I'm asking, I forgot he sat up. <laughs> Two. One. Good. Band pull apart again, going for nine. Three, two, one, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Straight leg sit ups. Three, two, one, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, good, back up again, we're down to eight. Eight reverse lunges, starting in three, two, one, eight, seven, six, that's it guys, keep going. Back straight, lean forward into it. Last four, three, two, one, 
Five quarter parts. Go home for eight. Three, two, one. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're down the ground. Straight leg sit ups. Go for seven, eight. Sorry, eight. Three, two, one. Eight. Nice and slow back down. Seven. Uh, so keep the slow way out, guys. We're sure going to go back into our crunches. Try to come up from your stomach. Three. Two. One. Good. Now we're down to seven. Seven reverse lunges. Starting again. Three, two, one, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Five pull apart. It's going for seven. Three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, back down the ground. Sit ups going for seven. It's getting quicker, guys. Three, two, one, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Right back up again. Six. Reverse lunges. Three, two, one. Let's go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bound pull apart for six. Three, two, one. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight leg sit ups. Go for six. Three, two, one, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up again. We're down to five new lunges. Three, two, one, five, four, three, keep going, two, one, good, bam, pull apart, it's five, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Down the ground, sit ups for five. Three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, final four. Let's go. Three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Good. Bam, pull up guys. Going for four. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one. Straight leg sit ups. Down we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And back up again. Reverse lunges. Down to two. Like it before the end of the song. Keep going. Band pull apart. Four, two. Three, two, one, one. Two. Straight leg sit ups. Going for two. Go a little faster, no, because I feel like I'm the end of myself. One. Two. Back up again. Reverse lunges. One of each. One. 
Band pull apart, it's going for one. One. Last one, strength out, sit up. It's going for one. Up, slowly lower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. Get a breather. Resting up, get a drink of water. So, um, I didn't think that was a rough. I didn't think that, that was a rough start. I think we almost eased in with that one. The next one we're gonna do. So this next one's gonna be an ab circuit. So in this ab circuit, we're gonna have three exercises gonna be on the ground for all three of them. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on a full 30 seconds rest. Not too bad. It's grand. That's for the first round. The second round, we're gonna go for. Sorry, that's the first. Yeah, first one. The second. We're going to go for 40 seconds on and then going for 20 seconds rest on, on them. And the last one, we're going to go for 50 seconds on, 10 second rest. The first one, getting used to the exercises, getting as many reps as you can, get a good breather after that. And trying to maintain that pace for 40 seconds. So somehow, trying to maintain that pace, so we'll probably pace ourselves out a little bit more for 50 seconds, 10 seconds on. We'll keep going from there. So it's nine minutes in total on three exercises. Just double checking those three exercises. It's a plank to press up. So we're down on the ground. Plank position, right back up into a press up, right back down, keeping that going up and down for 30 seconds, get a full 30 second breather. Next one is floor kicks, it is knee, so floor kicks is lying down on our back, hands on the, the, the hips if you need, the little kicks over the back, all coming from our core. Last one then is, I just looked at it, I forgot already, toe taps. Last one's toe taps, just like we did in the wall. Press up position, reach back towards toes, over and back. So um, if you're struggling to plank the press up, just hold the plank. If you're struggling to flutter kicks, I would rather you did um, dead bugs. And you should lower back, do dead bugs instead. Like we did in the warm lower back pin down, keep on one leg at a time. You can throw in the arm with that if you need to. And the last one then, uh, toe taps. If you struggle with that, maybe go shoulder taps instead. Uh, see how you get out there. Or even bring the band into if you have bands. And, and I know it's not really a, a core exercise then bring the band into doing some sort of press or, or some sort of roll, but just showing in something different if you want with that one instead. And I know it's not really core, but if you're showing doing toe taps uh, and shoulder taps and in a press up position in general, maybe try something like that. So, quick drink of water. Make sure my all watch is set up for stopwatch. So we have times right in this one. So the first one is 30 seconds, and the first one is uh, plank to press up. That's gonna be fun. One last check, make sure we're still alive. Good. Okay, plank to press up. Start together. Three, two, one, let's go. I like changing the hand each time in this one. Up to you. If you struggle, just hold on to the plank. If this is too easy, by the way, go into regular push ups. Good. Keep it going. And time. Okay. Get a good breather. 30 seconds rest. No bother. Just kick back, relax, chill. Get a drink of water if we need to. So, um, we got a fair bit of time before we go to floor kicks. Appreciate this break because if you get later on this round, uh, or in this block of exercises, that break's just not gonna be there. So, uh, floor kicks, at the end of the break. Three, two, one, and go. Right on, dude, look what happens. Good, those little kicks over Mac. We're going for 30 seconds. I'm riding just on a measly 10 seconds on each exercise. I think that's good enough for you to think of. Keep this going guys. Over and back. Almost there, almost there. Two, one, time. Okay, switch back over into our toe taps. Toe taps. We are going for 30 seconds once again. Then it gets more fun. We got 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest from there. 10 more seconds and we get going on this one. 
Okay, toe taps. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, make sure you get the hips right down at the end. Hook the hips in, straight line from my head to right here with my hands come down and shoot those hips up as you reach back towards the toes. Almost there. Keep this going. Come in for five seconds. Four, three, two, and relax. Good. Okay, quick breather. One round done already. So like I said, there, setting to go. All we're doing is just adding on ten seconds. What's just did there? Just ten seconds in those three exercises. Can't be that bad. Of course, you get ten seconds of rest. Okay. So we've got another ten seconds before we're right back into it again. Plank the press up. Starting together. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Keep going, guys. Right down and back up. Now it's getting more fun. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. Almost there. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Two, one, done. Okay, 20 seconds rest. We're back over to our floor kicks from there. Whew, that one was fun. Okay, for our kicks, five, three, two, one, for our kicks, let's go. Remember what I said, any pain on your lower back, go do dead bugs instead. Let's keep going, nice control over my back. I like keeping my head up off the ground here, it just helps keep my back flat onto the ground. Put less pressure on my lower back. Keep it going guys, 10 more seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, good. Quick breather, we are right back over again. Press the position into our toe taps. 10 seconds, we go. And I thought we were gonna go one more round, we're only adding on an extra 10 seconds. Grand, he said. Three, two, one, let's go. That was nowhere close to my toes. That's it guys, come on, let's keep going, let's keep pushing. Good, keep it going. We've got, ooh. 12 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, 20 seconds rest. Then we're back into our plank to press it again. Start strong this last round. Just hold plank. So we're adding on an extra 10 seconds as well. Obviously, taking 10 away from the break. So 50 on, 10 off. Three minutes. Done. Three, two, one, and let's go. Keep it going. Up, right back down. 20 seconds gone. I genuinely thought it was a lot more than that. I was like, ah, oh, that has to be at least 30. Nope. It is now, though. No. Almost there, guys. My 12 seconds. Hold out if we need to. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Don't want you my shoulders struggle there at the end. 
10 seconds, I've got much time. Turn it back over, into our flutter kicks. Three, two, one, straight into it, let's go. That's it, little kicks over Mac. Lower back pins the ground as much as we can. If we struggle, we're into our dead bug. Pass the lower back down. Breathing now. Over and back that way. And keep that going. Otherwise, try and keep pushing these floor kicks. Over and back, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, last one. 10 seconds. We're straight into it. Into our toe taps, over and back. This is going to be fun. The shoulders left. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's it. Let's push, guys. Do what we can. Keep going, keep going. We're almost there. Push there. Another time. Oh, thank God for that. Awesome, guys. Good work. Ham circuit. Done. You guys are going. Okay. We have one more round to go. And then we are done. One more round. This last round is going to be fun. I always say that, so if I've ever had meaning, it's definitely lost all meaning. What we're gonna do, if you've got a cowbell, we're gonna go for the cowbell swings. I'll demonstrate the cowbell swing now in a second. We're gonna go for 30 cowbell swings. Um, or get as many cowbell swings as you can, but it takes me to do 30. From there, straight down the ground into a plank, get some more core work. Regular plank, 30 seconds. Back up onto our feet. 20 cowbell swings, 30 second plank. 10 cowbell swings, 30 second plank. If you thought I was going five, you're wrong. Uh, back up to 30, back up to 30 cowbell swings. 30 second plank, 20, 30 second plank, 10, 30 second plank, done. So six rounds in total, 30, 20, 10, 30, 20, 10 and done. When we're doing the cowbell swings, slight bend the knees, hip hinge right back, you should feel the back of the legs, keep the back straight, Especially if the heavier cowbell, start with the heavier cowbell on the ground, and then you're gonna hike it back like a football. Of course, wearing an American football t-shirt, I mean American football. Um, so you're gonna hike it back, and then from there, snap the hips forward, squeeze the glutes over and back, and then we're finished, just nice, slowly, right back down, keep your core tight. But when we're doing that, biggest mistake with cowbell swings is when people come back, the cowbell goes lower than the knees, and sometimes they squat down to get it lower than the knees, right back up, by squatting into this, you're putting more focus in the front of your legs as well as your lower back to do it. Whereas you keep that core tight and just like a pendulum almost, that hips going back and up, it's just gonna feel in the back of the legs, feel it in the glutes, exactly where you want it, feel in your core, not your lower back and not the front of the legs. So you're feeling the front of the legs, or your lower back especially, you're doing something wrong. And then when you come forward the kettlebell, snap the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, right back out again, get that good snap in. Very important, especially if you start going up in the kettlebell weights uh, for this one. So, 30 seconds. 30 second plank, and we get going from there. Whew. Oh, got it. Okay. Three. It's an awful song to pull yourself in a fair shot. Anyway, we'll get there. <laughs> Three, two, one, 30 swings. Let's go. Breathe out, he's trying to lay up. I forgot to 
say, if you haven't got a kettlebell, what to do. Sorry, go into squat jumps if you don't have a kettlebell. Sorry, I should have said that earlier. 15. I'll tell you that I do all the kettlebell swings. Two, one. Okay, down to a plank, guys. 30 seconds. Standing at a three, two, one. Tuck the hips in. Squeeze the glutes, hold it from there. That's it, keep it going. That's it, keep holding. Come on, we're almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And time. Good, we're right back up. Cowbell swing. This time going for 20 reps. 20 reps. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hang on, keep going. Two, one. Okay, down again, into our plank. 30 seconds again. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's keep this going, guys. Keep going. Almost there, almost there. My last 10 seconds, keep holding it. Hold, hold, hold. Three, two, one, good. Okay, right back up. Cowbell swings, we're going for 10. I meant to say earlier, if you don't squat jumps, just get as many jumps as it takes me to do 10 swings, and right back into it again. Or you can go for power, or just reps as fast as you can for cardio. Three, two, one, let's go. 10. Come on, let's push, let's push. Snap four. One. Good. Okay. 30 seconds. All right back again into a uh, 30, 30 rep cowbell swing. Then we'll be halfway after these three seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Any pounds your back, guys, stop doing the swings. Go with the squats or squat jumps instead. That's it, hold out. Keep going, guys, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And time, good. Okay, we've got 60 kettlebell swings and a 90 second plank in total to go. But we're breaking that down to make that a little bit more manageable. Doesn't sound good when you put it like that. Anyway, 30 uh, kettlebell swings. If you're struggling, like I said, set and go. Go into a um, squat or squat jump to stand. Three, two, one, let's go. So guys, keep going. Halfway there. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Down to a plank again. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. So if you don't know by now, you should realize this plank position is the exact same position you do at the top of the kettlebell swing, tucking those hips in, squeezing the glutes, holding there. So you're getting strong in that position. It's 
It's always nice when the complement the kettlebell swing for a finisher. Keep going. Two, one, good. Okay. 20 kettlebell swings. Whew. Starting together. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last 10. Okay, down again to our plank. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep going. Almost there, guys. Keep going. Whew. Last 10 seconds. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, last one. Cowbell swings. Going for 10. Three, two, one. Let's go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And down. Last one. Thank. 30 seconds or finish. Three, two, one. Hold that. Classic guys, keep this going. We're almost there, keep holding, keep holding. Hold that, hold that, last 10 seconds. Whew. Keep holding, keep holding. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Time. Good work, guys. Now I'm gonna drink water, drink water first. <laughs> I double check, we're still alive. Awesome job there, guys. Excellent, we're still alive. Okay. Awesome job. So there yeah, you've seen, it was um, three different kinds of setup there um, on, on those kind of cardio, a lot of core work thrown in there, nice set of session. Awesome job today, guys, in that one. And there, it just gave you as well, just a couple of different ideas, if you're doing your own workouts in your own time, to mix and match, throwing a couple of things. Your ladders, your... You're, you're changing your cardio, so, excuse me, for <laughs> change your time, so it's not always just 40, 20, or 45, uh, 15. Keep mixing it up from there, and then something in the end, those drop sets, not really drop sets, sorry, uh, 30, 20, 10s, and then something constant, like a core plank. Up. You can do them with like a wall sit, and uh, squats, 30, 20, 10, with squats or sit-ups, or something along those lines. Hopefully there's just something there to help switch it up for you guys help keep the injury locked down. Like I said at the start of this video, I will continue to keep putting on work, um, lockdown workouts. Lockdown workouts, I'm getting tired now. Lockdown workouts on my YouTube page every Tuesday and Thursdays. As well as that, a lot of them, there'll be links in the description for different workouts as well, as well as my Coach Sean newsletter, and just different videos and stuff like that as well, if you want to check them out. Uh, and on top of that, if you want to hit the like and share button on the video, get it out to more people. So I'm getting these workouts in for more people, getting get people moving and keeping active throughout this next, I don't know if it's four months or four weeks, I should say, Jesus, four months, maybe it is, who knows at this stage. But I will continue to try and keep doing these for you guys throughout the lockdown. So that's it. Enough talking about me, enough tripping over my own words there. Awesome job, guys. Great work. Oh, if you have any questions, do email me, Sean, at CoachSeanC.com. That's it. There we go now. Thank you guys, best luck. Now that wasn't a hard video to get through now, was it? I hope you guys got some value out of the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the Coach Shot channel, which is somewhere here. And hit that button, subscribe to the Coach Shot channel, leave a thumbs up. There should be a couple of other videos around here for you guys to check out. And that's all from me, Coach Shot. Take care.